Welcome to Revelation Online. I'm Host Zach Andrews, also known as the son of the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the co co prophet of the end times. Today I am going to discuss the amazing prophecies hidden inside the music video made by Rebecca Black, commonly known as Friday. Now don't laugh. God does sometimes reveal prophecies through music. This is shown in the Bible in the book of Daniel when, right before everyone bowed down to that one stat idol that King Nebuchadnezzar made, music was played. Now, I do not believe that Rebecca or any people who helped her make the video had any of this in mind when they were making it. However, I do believe that they were guided by the Holy Spirit. So, let's start with the lyrics. 7 a.m. waking up in the morning. Now, the very first word in this music video besides the introduction, of course, is seven. Seven is used several times throughout the Bible. It's a confirmation that the, the prophecy is an end times prophecy. So this shows that the music video is an end times prophecy. This is further evidenced by the fact that most kids don't wake up at seven o'clock to go to school, at least not kids Rebecca's age. They wake up at least half an hour earlier. So why wouldn't they make it 6.30 in the morning? That would make more sense. They made it 7 is a confirmation that this is an end times prophecy. Now this also shows that Rebecca Black is playing the Antichrist because kids first start waking up for school at around 6 o'clock a.m. and the first class starts at around 8 o'clock a.m. These two hours are presented seven years of great tribulation and Rebecca Black only waking up halfway through that time at seven o'clock represents that the Antichrist will only appear on the second half of the great tribulation. The following lyrics are gotta get dressed, gotta go downstairs. This represents that the Antichrist is a divine punishment from God to humanity, thereby going upstairs to downstairs heaven to earth. Also, the lyrics, gotta get dressed, represent that the Antichrist will disguise or dress himself as God, and will perform such things as miracles to convince people that he is a God. The following lyrics are, gotta have my bowl, gotta have cereal. These are usually normal activities people do in the morning. This represents that during the first half of the Great Tribulation, the Antichrist will be here, but he will just be a normal person, it seems like. He won't become public until the second half of the Great Tribulation. The time is going. This is a warning to humanity that we do not have much time left before the Antichrist takes over. Those lyrics are where we are now. The lyrics right after that Exactly after that are everybody's rushing. This does not mean everybody's rushing. Rather, it implies that everybody is Russian, as in the nationality Russian of Russia. This represents that Russia will invade the West and establish a one world communist tyranny. Therefore, everyone will be Russian. The next few lines are really just transferring lyrics. They transfer us from one scene to the next. But this next scene is extremely important. Let's take a closer look at this amazing scene. Now, in this scene, there are four people in the car. One, two, three, and four. This represents four the number of the leopard, otherwise known as the last king of the south, or the president of the United States, preparing the way for the Antichrist. Notice how they seem to be inviting her in, representing that they will invite in the Antichrist. The following lyrics, which seat should I take, is a clear indication that she is talking about the seat of the beast otherwise known as the capital of the New World Order. There will be three capitals of the New World Order, Moscow, Rome, and Jerusalem, 
all within a seven year period. So the general public would be thinking, why is the seat of the beast changing so much? And the goal of the Antichrist is to gain support of the general public, which he unfortunately will do. So therefore, the Antichrist, who is represented by Rebecca Black, is saying, which seat should I take? Now, I don't think you could see all of them, but this is the best view I could get. Notice how there are five people in the car. One, two, three. Four, five. This does not represent Mary's rosary, as some of the false prophets will tell you. Rather, it represents the Antichrist, the false prophet, and the kings of the North, South, and whatever the other thing is. Britain, Russia, and America. Now in this next scene, we have three people. This is another end times number. It features three people representing the unholy trinity. The false prophet, the antichrist, and the devil. Notice how there is a full moon in the background. This represents a return to pagan times when people worshipped the full moon and consider it a sign of prophecy, like astrologists do. And notice right here we have a necklace. That kind of looks like a charm, a false charm, a return to paganism again. Also over here we have this strange object. It kind of looks like a UFO. However, this is not aliens from another planet. These are demons. Representing that this is indeed taking place in the end times. Notice how through this entire thing, the moon seems to keep getting bigger and bigger. Paganism will become a bigger and bigger part of everyday life. This scene right here is the most important of all. If this so far has not convinced you that this is an end times prophecy, this sure will. Notice these three people right here. Right here. It's kind of blurry. I don't know if you can see it. But they're sending their arms out in a salute. Do in a similar fashion to the Nazis. This is a representation that all power will be put towards the Antichrist under the one world communist tyranny and it will be a tyranny represented by the Nazi salute. And notice how it is pointing towards the Antichrist. After a while the following lyrics are displayed. Yesterday was Thursday, Thursday. Today, it is Friday, Friday. Tomorrow, it will be Saturday, Saturday. Then, it will be Sunday, Sunday. I don't want this weekend to end. In this case, seven days of the week represent the seven years of great tribulation, starting with Monday. The first three and a half years without the Antichrist is represented by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and half of Thursday. The three and a half years that have the Antichrist in them, half of Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, are the only ones mentioned in these lyrics. There's a reason for that. None of this is accidental. None of the other days are mentioned because the Antichrist doesn't appear on those days. And also, the lyrics, I don't want this weekend to end. Why would the Antichrist want the weekend to end? After the seven years of Great Tribulation, his one world government will be overthrown and he'll be judged, followed by a thousand years of peace. Why would he want that to happen? Now those lyrics are actually separated by the lyrics, we, 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 so excited, we so excited. She says we three times, representing the three great superpowers, Britain, Russia, and the U.S. They're all excited and preparing for the one world government. 
And then she says, we so excited, we only once. It represents that all three of them will combine into one government. The one world government is excited too. Notice how in these scenes, all activity is centered around her, the Antichrist. This represents that at the end, all activity will be centered around the Antichrist. However, this does not end with the Antichrist falling. This is because this video was released in 2011, when the Great Tribulation was just starting. Videos that would warn about the ending of the Antichrist would not be released until next year, with the release of such videos as Call Me Maybe and Gangnam Style. I assure you, none of this is accidental. And as always, if you would like a free copy of Third Equals Book Revelation Unraveled, or a free bumper sticker promoting his YouTube ministries, then just write a self-addressed stamp envelope to the address on your screen.